Hey there, everyone. In this episode, it's going to be one of the last ones we do for the brackets because we're going to make a fil using the, the filter um, formula. We're going to break down wins and losses, and hopefully that will help us pick the Elite Eight, Sweet 16, and eventually Final Four. So what I'd like you to do real quick is make a column for Jay, and we'll just call this winning. And we are going to, instead of having to type win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, what we're going to do is we're going to go to data. We're going to go to data validation. In data validation, you can do all kinds of cool stuff uh, from lists and numbers and things like that. But in this example, we're going to go list of items, and you want to separate them by columns, comma, sorry. So you want to say won or lost. Um, and then we will hit save. And what that does is it creates a drop down for us so we don't have to type all of those things. Now, instead of doing this for every single uh, cell going down, you just click on this first one, grab this bottom right corner, drag it all the way down. Nope, all the way down. There we go. And then you go to the top and you say, all right, Gonzaga still in it so they've won a couple games and actually they've won uh, two games so far so I'm going to change this to 28 and 0. Um, Iowa they won a game and they lost a game so I'm going to change this to 22 and 9 so since they lost we've got to put them in the lost column. Uh, I'm not going to do this for every single one but I am going to do this for just a handful of them. Uh, Kansas won a game and lost a game. So let's change their record. And since they lost a game, let's put them in there. Uh, Virginia also won a game and lost a game. No, I'm sorry. They just straight up lost. Whoops, that's awkward. Um, Creighton is still in it. They've won two games. And you can kind of keep going down the list. So USC, one, two. All right. So I'm going to take a timeout right there. And then I'm going to show you, hey, let's go ahead and make a filter over here. So let's hit the plus sign, start a new sheet. Let's name this, rename this winning. We want to query in our header. there and let's bold that and we want to filter in uh, actually we need we want to filter in just the winning teams so what we need to do there is we need to uh, highlight this column J for our winning we need to go to data and we need to name that range and we are going to name it winning and it's uh, J to J. And now let's go back to that and create a filter. So equals filter, bring in all of the data. Um, we want winning to equal the word one, close parentheses. And uh, we can do that. Now you'll notice maybe in yours, that this doesn't get brought in. Like it doesn't say win or loss. It should say win for just these teams. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our teams here. We need to go to data and name ranges. And we need to include that. So right now, our data range only goes to I. So I want to change that and have it go to J. It highlights it. I clicked OK, it highlighted it. And then when I come to here, it brings it all in. OK. Um, one more thing. Let's do a um, conditional format there so we can easily see our color schemes that, we, that I've been doing are the more wins you have, the brighter green you are. The less wins you have, winning percentage you have, the red you are, and in the percentile right in the middle, you're yellow. I'm going to hit done there. 
and close that. So uh, the nice thing that you can do here is you'll notice that um, as you kind of go through this list now and you say, hey, Oregon has won two games. They're in the one column, winning column. It adds it right there. So I would like you to go through. You can uh, use this website right here. It tells you uh, the games that, that they've if played, who the winner is. The winners, of course, move on. Um, as their record right here before the tournament. So you'll notice Gonzaga is 26 and 0, but right now they've won two games, so they're 28 and 0. And as you can go down the list, okay. Um, and as you kind of come across some teams, uh, you'll just kind of they've you'll just fill this out. And as you can see, many teams had really, really good seasons. Uh, this tournament has been a wild, wild ride. And maybe this will help you focus on which team will, uh, will win and which team you're going to pick for winning the Sweet 16 and the Elite 8. If you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, good job.